In this question, we have a T bill with a par value of $100 and its price is $99.20. It will mature in 120 days. And the question asks you what is the yield to maturity? This one is even a little bit more complicated than the previous example. Let's look at how to calculate this one. Okay, um, we first uh, better put all the numbers into the context. So what we have here is 99.20 equals, well, the par is discounted, right? So the par is 100. I have a plus, I have a plus zero here. That is because it's a T bill. It's not paying any coupon. It's so-called a zero coupon bond. Right, and then here is my one plus the yield to maturity. Now, what is this time? This time is actually a fraction of a year. Let's make it simpler. Assuming one year only have 360, 360 days, 360 days, and that's uh, an easier way. To, to do the calculation. Of course, um, in this one, what we have, we can have, again, simpler number. It's uh, 1 plus yield to maturity. In practice, right, what I have here should be uh, in practice, the time for U.S. Treasury is actually the actual numbers. So this one divided by 360, that is basically one third, right? So that's one third. Okay. Now we are ready to uh, do the same kind of manipulation again. Again, we kind of time both sides with uh, this discount factor and also divide both sides with the uh, bond price, right? So in the denominator here is 99.2. And uh, then again, I want to see this yield to maturity long on the left-hand side of my equation. So what I have to do is basically raise both sides to the third power. Then the power here become 1. Right, so this one gives me well one plus yield to maturity equals this ratio, right? The, kind of the price. Let me make a bigger parentheses, and then uh, to the third power. So this one to the third power. Okay, now I'm ready to calculate the yield of maturity, what I have is again this ratio to the third power minus one. That will give me the number for the yield of the maturity. To calculate this number, I need my Excel. And in Excel, I can calculate this ratio 100 divided by 99.2. And then I raise this number to the third power and then I got this number minus one, I got my yield to maturity, right? I make it a percentage. Now what I have, the yield to maturity on this treasury bill is 2.439%. So this is 2.439%. Uh,